And what he described is this procedure where you, the, the, the part right here with the arrows on it is where you remove this area of skin. The part with the stripes is then freed up and then rotated uh, in this, on this picture from right to left. So the advantages of the cleft lift is the incisions off the midline. Okay, the midline is really right here. And even just a few millimeters off the midline is all it needs because it's not going to fold off the midline. Because when they, we do this surgery with them laying prone, when, when they stand up, the whole configuration changes. So we kind of have to try and figure out what is going to happen when they stand up, when they sit, when they change position. But um, here the, you can see there's no deep cleft. The incision is just right out there in the open for you to see, other than this little part that curves down toward the anus, which we can talk, we'll talk about issues down by the anus. That makes it much more difficult when patients have disease down there. But it has a very high success rate if you really know what you're doing. Uh, complications are low. I've had maybe a 1% infection rate, which you would think in this area dealing with stuff close to the rectum um, that has pockets of hair full of bacteria and all this, that the infection rate would be high. But it's, it's not. Um, cosmetically, these patients you end up with a vertical scar. A new little bit of a fold develops over time. Um, if you um, Photoshop the scars out of most of these patients and looked at their anatomy, you'd say it looks like a fairly normal buttock. Um, there's not a lot of pain from this procedure. Um, the healing is fairly quick compared to packing it and leaving it open. Um, the post-op post care is not very complicated. Basically, they, they have a, a drain in place for about four to seven days, which we then take out in the office. Surgeons have tried this without a drain. 20% of patients had wound problems, um, which means 80% of the time you can get away without a drain. I'd rather not have any of them have wound problems, particularly since a lot of these patients come here, have surgery, and go far away, and I'm not there to, to deal with it. Um, and the other concept of this is getting the incision um, toward the anus to come in from the side. If it comes in down the middle, that will have problems healing. If it comes in from the side, it will heal. And this is a cause of failure of a lot of other operations, as they, they can't deal with that very bottom couple of inches by the anus. The disadvantage is you really know how, have to know how to do this or you can make things worse. There has to be a drain in. Um, that requires general anesthesia. You can't do it under local in the office. It leaves a scar and it does reshape the buttocks. And some patients are not happy about that. And it's hard for patients to find a surgeon. And um, <clears throat> this, is, this is why we're seeing a disproportionate number of these patients here in Eau Claire at Oakleaf because they can't find somebody closer to home to take care of them.